Hello, this video is on categories and subcategories with Bubble. Imagine you have users adding posts. For example, here we have a veterinary clinic. Uh, my cat is injured. And then they can choose what category their animal or pet belongs to. So we have here mammal and then cat. And we click create. And then another person can select my pet alligator is uh, sleepy. And here they can select it, and not down here as the veterinarian, I can see all the different uh, posts by my potential clients, and then I can filter to just see mammals, or even just see the different cats, or just see the different uh, reptiles, or only look at alligators, for example. Okay, how to do this with Bubble? So the trick is to use option sets. These can be found underneath data, and then option set, and I've added two option sets, category and subcategory. To add an option set here, I just filled out a new option set. We start with a category. This just has the text associated with it. So there is mammal, reptile, fish, insect. What else can I think of? Oof, um, mollusk, I don't know how to spell this. Um, uh, so for snails or something. Okay. And these are the categories, and then the next are subcategories. So what's different here is each subcategory also has a category associated with it. So for example, a dog I've selected is a mammal, or a lizard is a reptile. So to do this, I had to create a new attribute, and I had to call this a category, and then I had to select the option set category that I created earlier. Create, and then I have to add all these uh, different animals. I can move them up and down to change the order if I really want cat to always be above dog because it's more important <laughs> or because it thinks it's more important or because it's alphabetical. In that case, we want the bear at the top. And then whenever we add a new animal, such as giraffe, there's a lot of pet giraffes recently, um, you can then select mammal. So you do have to do this for every one you add. You have to click modify attributes and select that anglerfish is a fish, for instance. Okay, so after doing this and changing the order as you wish, you can then select them in drop downs. So here we have the person creating the post with a multi-line, and here we have a drop down. And we selected dynamic choice, and here the option set category, so OS category. So you, you may notice I added OS, OS, so we can easily be able to find it underneath OS for operating system. I mean, <laughs> option set. Okay, and here we select all OS categories, and then we want to show just the display because we just had the display, so whether it's a mammal, reptile, etc. And now for the second dropdown, this time we have it subcategories. And we don't just have it show all subcategories, but we only want to have it show the subcategories of the categories we selected, because when we went for mammal, it only shows the mammals. To do this, we have all subcategories and then filtered. And the constraint is this option set subcategories category is drop down choose categories value. So we're just only taking the, if we select mammal in this drop down, we only want the subcategories which also have mammal, mammal as their category, such as bear or cat or dog, all have mammal as their category. Okay, and then we have a create button. And when we click create, we just create a new post with a category and subcategory of the dropdown. To do this, we have a data type just called post, and we just uh, selected Uh, option set category and subcategory. So we just clicked here, option set category and subcategory for two new fields we added. And then we save that in the save workflow, reset the inputs. And that's already it for the creation part. And then this is the part, for example, uh, the admin would see. So here we search all posts but we want to filter the post depending what's selected in the dropdown. So we do a search for all posts with a category of the dropdown of this dropdown here and the subcategory of this dropdown here. We just copy those two dropdowns. 
and then we also click ignore empty constraints. This means that it will still work if one of them is empty. This is important because otherwise, for example, we would not see anything at the start here because uh, no subcategory is selected. But here we just see all posts because no subcategory is selected. Okay, and then as soon as we click reptile, we only see the reptile posts. And as soon as we click alligator, we only see the ones which have reptile as a category and alligator as a subcategory. But it also works with empty because we did ignore empty constraints. Okay, and here we just have a text showing the post text and the two buttons showing the categories display and the subcategories display. So we can easily see ah, this is a crocodile, alligator, reptile, etc. If we really wanted to, we can even conditionally change the color. So when current sets post category is fish, we can, for example, change the background color to uh, dark blue. And in a similar way, when it's a reptile, we could make it green. As many reptiles seem to be green for whatever reason. And yeah, that will also work. Still loading the app. Here we have reptile in green, so we can easily color code it. And yeah, I hope you learned how to take care of category subcategories. And for short tips on bubble, uh, do check out uh, my site tipster.com for hundreds of bubble tips, also filtered by categories and subcategories. Cheers.